Hey guys, Larry Ren, of course, at Twenty Eleven here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Fire Emblem 3 co 776 In this part, we are starting Chapter 24, The Baron in Black. Having overcome countless obstacles, Lee finally stood before the gates of Castle Manster. Better known today as the Twofold Traitor's Lair, the castle towered above the city, intimidating the Liberation Army with its sheer size. Once Leaf had fled these very walls as a mere fugitive, but now he returned as a conqueror. He stood ready to rescue a lost loved one, and in, doing, and in so doing, usher in a new era. Okay, so uh, before I already tested out the this chapter and the glitch is fixed in this chapter in this patch for uh, Project Exile. So for units, I should probably bring Alwyn and uh, oh yeah, I have to bring Marita. Uh, so she can talk to Galzis and recruit. Excuse me, to recruit him. Um, I also also there's the member card in this chapter, so I'm gonna have to bring that along. Uh, I'm gonna do the rest of this off screen. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, here we go. Delmon instead of uh, Fergus because Delmon has ch uh, ch charm. Thank you. 
Okay, I'll just pair stamina and drink. Chapter 24, The Baron in Black Raedric, do I hear correctly that you've allowed those rebels to invade the castle? Uh, if your ex eminence would grant me more time, I'll see to that the vermin are wiped out. Don't promise more than you're capable of. It's obvious to anyone with eyes that the rebels have the overwhelming advantage. Even for you, this is pathetic. I thought you'd at least be more useful than this, but it seems I've overestimated you. I wash my hands of you, Roderick. Our alliance has come to an end. Wait, Bishop Phil, please. If you abandon me now, I, I, not above begging, are we? Oh, very well. I'll consider this a dead man's last request. I shall spare you a battalion of sorcerers from that esteemed Welkin Rawson. Don't let your guard down, Prince. There aren't many right of Roderick's men left, but he's made up with the, di the difference by hiring a slew of cell swords. The most dangerous of all is a swordsman by the name of Colossus, challenging him directly at suicide. Colossus, he said, hmm, what should we do about him then? Our only option is to lure him close enough for me to ambush him with the Tome of Forsetti. Yet even I don't know if that will defeat him. We barely have enough troops to stage such a diversion. Augustus, why do you insist on splitting our army in three? Divide and conquer of a sword. The second group is to rescue the children, and the third will arrest the Loptian bishops. As their tasks are a race against time, that was all the more reason to send them in ahead of us. Rescuing the children goes without saying, but why bother with the Loptian bishops? There's a place of worship in the east wing of the castle where the Loptians con congregate. The bishops there pose a great threat to our army, as they will berserker and sleep staves. I see, so the task of defeating Rajoy falls solely on our group then. Indeed, there won't be time for the others to circle back around and rejoin us. We're certainly in it in for a different, difficult battle, Prince Leaf. Leave the weak or foes to me, you just focus on Rydrick. Understood, no matter what it takes, I'll cut him down.
and dodge it. Thank you.
Ah, uh, shoot.
Okay, he's been silenced. Fortify, Fenrir, Berserk, Sleep, Berserk. He's restored bishops. Why is there a range? Okay, Richard, just one range. Who 
Fuji time. kids. God, 1% hit? Are you kidding me? It takes way too long. You've 99% miss again. <sighs> I love Thracia. I'm 
Come on, Anna. Thank you. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!